if it is being changed, can the days, alternate days also be changed? Okay, so you have problem in uh, alternate days. Same days are okay with you, right? Ma'am, uh, only per day a bit problem for me. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Vanisha, uh, I'm not getting anything right now. I don't know your voice is your maybe network issues. What you can do after the class, you can coordinate me on WhatsApp. Right? Just share me a voice note. I'll just listen to that and accordingly we'll just plan. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, so now students, we are going to start with the next chapter, which is government budget. Very, very important and very, very easy chapter, right? Over here, you have to learn so many things. So be ready. Government budget. So government budget is basically, this is a syllabus. First of all, government budget, you will learn meaning, objective and components. Then classification of receipt, that is revenue receipt and the capital receipt. Then classification of expenditure, revenue expenditure and capital expenditure. Then you will learn about what is balance budget, surplus budget and deficit budget and how government measures this, like the numerical portion will come here, right? Clear? Yes, ma'am. Quickly write down the syllabus, then we'll start with the government budget.
Dan Dan mau. Okay. Now after this, let's just start with the chapter. Okay. I hope you begin seeing the picture, this one, right? So over here, the yes, first sir. one is, ma'am, what is this budget? Right? So budget meaning and features. So budget is the state of estimation of the government receipt and government expenditure during a period of financial, which is fiscal year, which runs from April 1 to March 31st. Right? So this is basically what is budget, ma'am? It's a statement of what? Ma'am, estimation. For example, tomorrow you have your birthday. You are going to give free to your friends. So over there, you are making a budget that, okay, I have 5,000 rupees. I'll spend it like this, right? So that's why budget is a statement of estimation of government receipt and government expenditure during a period of uh, financial year, which runs from April 1 to 31. Feature of budget, it is estimated and not an actual statement. It is prepared annually. It is constitutional requirement to the present budget before parliament. Revenue and expenditure are planned according to the objective of budget. Then budget impacts the economy through aggregate fiscal discipline and resource allocation. One by one, let's just understand this. First of all, features. It is estimated and non-actual. It is not the actual. For example, I said I will spend 4,000 rupees on my birthday party. No, it's not that actual. It's basically the estimation that in around, I'll expend this. This is prepared annually, like in a year. It is a constitutional requirement. You cannot say that, oh, I know I'll not prepare budget this year. No, it is a requirement to present the budget before the parliament, right? Revenue means whatever money you are getting and expenditure, whatever money you are spending are planned according to the objective of the budget. Then budget impact the economy through aggregate fiscal dis discipline and resource allocation. So budget, whatever budget you are going to make, that is going to basically affect your economy as well, right? So this is what budget looks like. Quickly write it down.
dan mam Okay, Ritika, you are done? Ritika, Vanisha, both of you done? Or anyone who is left? No, I am done. Vanisha, you are also done? No, no. No, okay, okay. Wait. Oh, done. Okay. Now let's just start with the structure and the component, right? So first of all, structure and the component means it includes budget receipt and budget expenditure. Okay. So what is this budget receipt, ma'am? In budget receipt, you have revenue receipt and capital receipt. In budget expenditure, revenue expenditure, capital expenditure, development expenditure, non-development, plan and non-plan. Though development and plan are not in a part, but still we will discuss it. Okay. So what you will write first, you will write structure and components of budget. Right. And you can make it like this. One side budget receipt, one, two. And one side budget and expenditure, one, two, three. Clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs>
Girls done? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Done. Done. Okay. Now let us understand this one by one. See, student, uh, girls, this is very very important chapter. So just listen to it very carefully because if you will understand the concept, it's going to be very easy. But in case you are not going to understand, you will not understand the concept. Then you cannot learn it, right? It's all about the logical. You know the logical thing. So I think it will be easy for you. But the only thing is that if you will not understand the core. then no matter whether you will try that i'll mug up it you can't mug up it right every time okay so let's just start budget receipt right first of all we will start with budget receipt which is revenue receipt and the capital receipt so over here there are two thing one is the receipt and one is the expenditure so receipt means your money is coming to you right and expenditure is money is going out right so first of all budget receipt so budget receipt refers to the estimated money receipt like that you will receive who will receive of course government from all sources during the fiscal year right now revenue is money receipt means you are re receiving it right tell me one thing when you get the money right either the two words which you have to remember is one is liability right and one is your asset two words liability and asset right asset is means these are the product you have liability means uh that for example you I, i gave you money you have a liability that oh god i have to return money to mom i have written money to mom like that right so over here revenue like revenue receipt means you are receiving the money right so from what are the two sources that you get money right either you will sell something right you will get the money right or you will borrow it from someone these are the only two sources from where you can get money yes Or yes, one source like somebody gave you the money. Yeah. Yes, These are the only source. Is there anything else apart from this? No, right? These are the only two sources in your life. Okay. So over here, remember, just learn the concept from here, right? So re revenue receipt is always a good one, right? So a good one means like you like you have only three sources from where you can get the money. One, you will sell something like for example, I had a old scooty. I sold it. I got money, right? Second is I borrowed it from someone, right? That is also a source from where I can get money. Or third is somebody, my grandmother gave me the money. From these are the only three sources from where I can get money. No other sources there apart from this, right? So let's just understand. So these receipt. So either what will happen? For example, you sold something, right? You sold something. At that time, what will happen? You had two houses. You sold one. Your asset is decreasing. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Right. But for example, you first way you sold something. Second is you borrowed it from someone. Right. You took loan. now your liability is increased that you have every time in your head you have that oh my god i have to return it i have to return it right yes yes ma'am right so receipt is you are receiving the money but revenue receipt is a good one these receipt do not create any corresponding liability right so these are the receipt that do not create liability for the government like the tax receipt and licensing fees for example government is receiving the tax right government is getting the money but both of the situation is happening to to government like government is selling something or government has a liability no we are paying tax to government so these two government is getting money na the source is government is getting money right but these two things are not giving for example i want a license i paid licensing fees that is going to government government is getting money but that doesn't mean that i'm government is selling something or government is borrowing right so that's why it's a revenue receipt revenue receipt are those receipt which do not create liability on the government plus these do not create any reduction in asset of the government like licensing fees gift grant fines and penalties like that these receipt are recurring in nature for example you paid fine to government 
maybe next time you didn't have the driving license with you right at that time also you will pay fine you will not say that ma'am no earlier i paid fine no you have to pay the fine right so in this revenue receipt assets and liability of the government are not affected clear so that's why revenue receipt is a good one because if you are receiving money you have only two sources either you will sell something or you will borrow it right if your liability will asset will decrease or your liability will increase these are the only two situation but in revenue receipt your asset don't decrease nor your liability increase clear they don't create any liability clear now yes, coming sir. to capital receipt these receipt create liability for the government right they are opposite they create liability like for example borrowed government borrowed money from somewhere of course there is a liability plus these cause reduction in asset of government like for example recovery of loan what recovery of loan is very very important for example this is government government has given loan to these four people right so now poor people are paying government the loan plus they are also paying the interest so they are basically somewhere the asset for the government because government is getting interest from them right but somewhere this person and this person they recovered the loan they paid the they paid all all the loans so this is now earlier government has four sources from where they were getting interest right but now government has only two sources from where they are getting interest so recovery of loan is also basically the assets of government are also decreasing right and disinvestment is earlier government had two plots or two uh maybe uh, two places now they sold one so now they have only one so this is also basically the the asset of government is reducing that's why it's a capital this clear and they are non recurring in nature it's like i sold something so it's not like that i'll again sell it right so these are non recurring uh, over here assets and liability of the government are affected it's clear yes ma'am both of you it's clear yes ma'am okay so now first of all you will write it like this budget receipt then this revenue receipt and then the capital receipt
Ma'am, can you scroll down? Mami, mami, mami. Both of you done? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, this is a table, right? So over here, the receipt part I was talking, the revenue receipt and the capital receipt, mm -hmm. right? Now you will draw this table. Why this table is important? Because sometimes they will give you sales tax and they will ask you, this tell us whether sales tax is a revenue receipt or a capital receipt. So at that time you should know. The revenue receipt has tax revenue. We will do what is tax revenue and non-tax revenue. What are direct tax, what are indirect tax, everything we will do. No need to write the definition, only write the names. Draw this, government budget revenue this and the components, write only the name examples. Okay? Okay, then.
नाम डाल